As professional carpet cleaners, there's a whole host of chemicals that we have to use to make sure that we can get the best results possible on every job. So here's a brief rundown of each of them. So there's three main carpet shampoos we use. There's different reasons for each. So the Carpet Pro Professional is a professional grade fabric safe degreaser. It's in tablet format, so it makes it really easy to disperse the perfect amount over the carpet area. This also really works well for upholstery, curtains, any fabric really, it, this, this thing is a great product. Since it is wool safe, um, as you can see here, that helps a lot when we're doing any natural fibers, Persian carpets, silk carpets, um, we can trust this product to be a degreaser on even those natural fibers. The Astonish Carpet Care. The reason this shampoo exists is this is also a wool safe shampoo, so it works really well on the natural fibers. When we do a lot of Persian carpets and silk carpets, we tend to use this as our overarching shampoo. These two together generally work quite well as a combo, um, but we try to stay away from anything without the wool safe badge if we're going to be using it on Persian and wool carpets. Then this one, uh, the Bennett Reed Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner, this one's great as, you know, baby safe. Um, it's Great, biodegradable, low foaming. Specifically use it when we're doing baby products, fluffy toys. Deep cleaning is great with these kind of products because they have no bleach, no peroxides, no sulfates, no phenols. It's just an all round good product. It is still a carpet shampoo, so it is worth rinsing it out regardless, but it's, it's a good product. So next we have our odor control. So there's two types of products we use for odor control. That's a dry odor control, and we use an enzymatic odor control. Now, there are other types, and if we are really stuck, we can use hydrogen peroxide and alcohol, but these require a lot of expertise to use, and they are very damaging to carpets if used incorrectly. So you need to be a professional. FCS stands for Fabric Care Specialist from the Academy. You need to know how to use these products before using them on carpets, upholstery, curtains, whatever. Okay. So back to the older odor controls. A dry odor control is great if we or the carpet's been cleaned recently or if there's no real stains we just want to kind of control maybe a musty odor maybe the carpet was left damp um, this tends to help with that it's not a perfect solution you still need to use the equipment you still need to extract and you still need to rinse but it does help sometimes to just freshen up the carpet and get it smelling good this is an enzymatic pre-spray. So what that means is that this has active enzymes in it. So this works great for any organic related odors and stains. Um, it is a stain remover as well, although I know I'm speaking about odor specific, but the reason this works so well for odors is enzymatic cleaners contain enzymes, um, generally protease, and that means that it breaks down the protein chains within the actual organic substance. Now, generally these can be very damaging to natural fibers because natural fibers are also organic. So you must be very careful when using this to ensure that you know what type of carpet you have. If you never know what type of carpet you have, it's always good to just check the back, check the label. Um, that'll generally give you a good enough answer. There's a couple of options we have for stain treatments. We have a couple of like oxygen related treatments, um, hydrogen peroxide, uh, isopropyl alcohol, um, we have some intense stuff from Karcha, uh, we even have some stuff from Bissell, so I'll explain what each one does. So this is a very intense degreaser, um, this one works really really well for like tar stains, gum, um, anything that is like really stuck on there, glue, that kind of thing, this works to break it down. Um, it is universal so it can be used, however it is not wool safe so it can't be used on natural fibers. This one, uh, the Astonish Specialist Oxy Active, this one can be used on natural fibers. It's got that little wool, wool safe certification, if you can see it there. Um, that means that it is safe for natural fibers and this is our go-to for any sort of natural fiber related stains. We have the Bissell uh, Spot and Stain Pro Oxy, very similar to this Astonish uh, in the same Oxy Active compounds. However, this one is a bit stronger, hence why it doesn't have the same wool safe approved. It's quite intense, so you do have to know how to use it when using it. But generally speaking, if we need an oxy active compound, which is very similar to hydrogen peroxide, but is used in a bit of a different way with a bit of different surfacants, um, just to make it work a bit better. The professional duo, isopropyl alcohol and hydrogen peroxide. I've got a 3% hydrogen peroxide, this is 6% here. Um, the nice thing about hydrogen peroxide is generally speaking, it is really good at lifting stains and dealing with organic matter like blood. 
specifically for fabric care specialists because of how dangerous this product is to use on carpets um, it's very easy to bleach it is a mild bleach that's what hydrogen peroxide is if anybody's ever done their hair you will know that hydrogen peroxide does remove color from things so if you don't use it correctly in the right quantities correctly mixed you will end up with a bit of a problem here so only people who have gone to the academy and have passed the fiber care specialist course we permit to use this um, if you are going to be using this at home please you do so to your own discretion and uh, it is our advice to not use this product without a professional present and then isopropyl alcohol now isopropyl alcohol is great as a degreaser it also evaporates which is nice because it doesn't leave any sort of residues um, and all of the products you see here we specifically chose to make sure we don't leave any sort of residual soap on the carpet um, or on the furniture or on the curtains or whatever because residual soap leads to resoiling and resoiling is the enemy of any carpet cleaner it just means that you're going to be back there in a week to clean the same thing again um, there's only really very specific instances that you're going to be using isopropyl alcohol again fabric care specialist because this can damage fibers this can damage things so try to make sure you test the color fastness before ever doing any sort of chemicals and grab a small area of that piece of furniture you're trying to clean test the chemical out first if you see any damage or any sort of change of color stop using the chemical and throw water on it immediately then try get the water out with the wet and dry vacuum lastly uh, we have got this now very seldomly do we use this uh, this is specifically for dust mite and bed bugs so this is part of our allergen treatment however a lot of the other chemicals you saw there are also part of the allergen treatment and they do neutralize allergens this one is more specific for sometimes in a carpet you get moths you get uh, you know some sort of like beetles and stuff this one will take care of those especially bed bugs in children's bed and so on and so forth we've seen that quite often because i think people don't often move those mattresses kids vomit whatever the case is so um, it's important to have something that we can kill bed bugs and dust mites with that is baby safe 